Wizard's Mance. Greetings, adventurers and heroic champions of the lands. It is I, Goldratz, Necromancer Extraordinaire, at your service. Today, I have a game that is not as ancient as some of the other ones we've looked at previously, but nearly. And the necromantic powers from it uh, come from the source of the host of the game, rather than how old or ancient or the power behind it. I'm talking about Atmosphere, the video board game. This is the DVD one. What nugget was that? Oh, uh, pardon me. Um, yes, I, I, I know there's an older version of the game. Uber Demon used to have that, but, you know... Whoa! Oh. Oh my goodness! This is such power! What's going on? Oh wow! This atmosphere of the VHS board game! We haven't had this since, well, Uber Demon got rid of it. But now it's back in our collection. Let's take a look at a couple of things here real quick to make sure. It's very old. This isn't a VHS tape! This is some aftermarket DVD, probably from eBay. And we don't have all the keystones of the right colors, but we have enough. I guess it will do. Well, let's check it out, shall we? We'll check out both versions of the game. We got them both, might as well. Oh man, this is an exciting day. And check out more. And here we are behind the dungeon master screen in guerrilla style mode because. There's just too much board game to handle. Like, look at how far I've had to push forward the screen. Uh, we'll look at the DVD version first since it's the newer ver Well, so one thing I should disclose, and we'll cover this in a little bit, is there, this is not the newest version of the game anymore. As of 2019, just about a year ago, the filming of this, there was a uh, app-enabled version of Atmosphere uh, that was released in its native home of Australia. Um, where there's an app. You can download it anywhere. At least I was able to download it here in the United States. Uh, and I downloaded it. But the great thing is, is it is backwards compatible, at least as far as I can tell, with the DVD board game. And it has the same pieces and board as the DVD version of the board game. So, uh, one thing you'll notice here is, uh, while Uber Demon didn't curate the Atmosphere VHS board game version exactly. Um, he did keep some relics from the old one uh, that he couldn't bear to part with. And he wishes for the life of him he would have kept the VHS tape. But he didn't, but alas. So we got, this is some old stuff from the first Atmosphere, or the VHS version of Atmosphere. So one th important thing to note, and uh, we'll cover this in more detail later. The first game in the series, first games in the series, were called Nightmare. Nightmare, the game hosted by a video. I am the gatekeeper! To win, you must stop it. Roll the dice! The video board game Nightmare, the gatekeeper talks to you. His turn is it now. And you must answer him. Answer me! Yes, my gatekeeper. Go for it! Nightmare, a race against time for three to six very game players. Let's party! Although, in the other parts of the world, especially in, in Europe, most of Europe, it was already known as Atmosphere. But as native of Australia and here in the United States, it was Nightmare before it was Atmosphere. It wasn't until the VHS board game, the, the Harbingers, 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 was, um, uh, was it rebranded to atmosphere in the United States. Um, so, the nightmare premise was you were um, going up against the gatekeeper or various denizen of the nightmare universe such as Baron 70, the zombie Loa from voodoo folklore, uh, Andy Chatin, the French, French witch that was uh, killed because she was believed to be a witch. Um, Elizabeth Bathory, the Vampire from the Carpathians. And you see your board here. You've got dual spots. The, uh, that is uh, flight, I believe. No, that is flight, probably. Um, time card, maybe? I haven't played this game in a while. Key, uh, keystone. 
Uh, it's a skull. And the black hole. And a headstone for the various uh, monsters. So we'll get in, into more of that in a minute. But I just kind of want to show you what there's where the Wall of Fears goes. That is, if you, basically when you get to the end of the game, you have to confront and you have all the keystones. You have to confront your greatest fear. And basically that means by not confronting it. If you get to the Well of Fears, it's this plastic doohickey here. And I know Uber Demon did a video similar to this with this very board game uh, probably about 10 or so years ago. Uh, we're going to go in a little more in depth. This, we're going to do it justice this time. Um, but yeah, you put your fear in the Well of Fears, and when you get to the end of the game, you have all the keystones, or keys, and you get to the Well of Fears. Basically, you have to find the fear that is not your greatest fear, and then you beat the gatekeeper. Um, we're probably not going to cover, well, well, not probably, we're not going to cover Khufu, which was the follow-up to this, which, uh, just kind of as an aside, um, so with Nightmare, they pretty much covered all the harbing, harbingers, harbingers, um, so that's, uh, Khufu the Mummy, Elizabeth Bathory the Vampire, and Dishatan the Witch, uh, Gavaldin the Werewolf, Baron Samity the Zombie, Elizabeth Bathory the Vampire, I think I'm, I don't think I said that one already. Um, but, you're one of those folk monsters, like, so, there's monster classes, right? Zombie, witch, werewolf, vampire. These are legendary figures of those classes of monsters. Elizabeth Bathory, the vampire. Uh, Baron Samity, the zombie. Um, well, this is the DVD that Jack's put in. Nice, cheap paper slipcase. Great. You get your paper to write in wall there's another there's a pencil. Yeah, um, and another relic I maintained are the numbskulls from the Atmosphere, uh, my original copy of Atmosphere, the VHS board game. And I had some headstone, uh, headstone keystones in here, but I transferred those to my copy of the Harbing, Harbing, Harbinger, Harbingers, Harbingers, Tomato, Tomato, who cares? Um, but I transferred those there because I didn't have all the key keys that I needed for this game. I still don't have the right color keys, but I have enough to play the game, and we can figure that out. Hit the ground running, so to speak. Uh, you got your character cards, time cards, fake cards, and atmosphere, the Harbingers, Harbingers, Tomato Tomato. Um, I don't believe there's time, there's not time cards, and we'll get to that here in a minute. Um, but uh, pretty much, you know, the gatekeeper will shout out, you so say basically, in the old games, you had an hour to beat the gatekeeper or the, the monster at hand. Uh, and the more modern iterations of the game, the advanced booster tape iterations, you had 45 minutes. Um, I think an hour is key. Uh, it's a witching hour, not a witching 45 minutes. But uh, what do I know? I'm only a necromancer. Um, so we have the DVD. We have all the pieces. Under here, there's the, the key trays for each player. Because you, you get a number. Um, we'll look more at the, the audio-visual content here momentarily. But right now, I just want to look at the raw board game components. This is a multimedia experience of audio, visual, and physical board game pieces. So, um, well, we've kind of covered the gamut of the DVD board game, mm -hmm. which is kind of... The, the DVD version is kind of a hybrid of... Nightmare and Atmosphere, the Harbingers, Harbingers, whatever. Um, and Khufu was totally different, so that's why we're not covering him. Ha! You are nothing without me. You hear nothing. <laughs> Nightmare was to Hero Quest what this Atmosphere, the Harbingers, is to Advanced Hero Quest. So this is a this is where they, in my opinion, they really honed in the rule set and had a really immersive experience. This was my first experience with this game franchise. I knew of Nightmare before this game, uh, I, uh, and uh, and Uber Demon, uh, Uber Demon had this game when he was a boy. This was the first exposure he had to the game as well, as uh, Atmosphere, not Nightmare. You remember, he was at Target, and he asked his mother if he could get it, and she said yes, and it changed his life forever.
this in the in the DVD board game that I salvaged from my old copy of this VHS version of the board game. This per version um, was necromantically summoned here, but uh, has some oddities aside from the keys that I I don't have all the keys of the right color, but I have enough keys to play the game. We don't have the VHS tape, but we have an aftermarket DVD that works great. It even works on my Xbox uh, One. Provinces, and we'll get into that in a minute. We'll set it up and make it all nice. Um, looks like my magic's not going to be able to conserve the battery much longer, so we'll have to take a break here in a minute. You see the character cards? I conserve those. This, I was surprised to see this. This was an um, an advert for a booster tape because you came. The slot was where the VHS tape was for this game, and this insert was to send away for a booster tape which I'm assuming you got another advert for another booster tape when you got this because there were two booster tapes for this particular version of the game but uh, so uh, on, aside from the character card you have what the keystones do for each character so we'll just kinda go through the characters so you got Baron Samity Elizabeth Bathory the vampire, Baron Samity was a zombie and De Chatin, the witch Gavaldin the werewolf Kufu, the mommy! Hell in, that's hell, H E L O I N, the poltergeist. And the Soul Ranger cards. And then, of course, we have reference cards for other bits of the game. Um, so, one thing I will note is that um, they had planned to do a, in the Nightmare Run of Games, they, they started with Baron Semity after the Gatekeeper, the initial Nightmare game, as a booster. And then they did the Witch. Then they did the vampire, Elizabeth Bathory. And then they planned to do the mummy, which they never officially did until Khufu of the DVD era of this board game. Um, they never did a werewolf game. They never did a, 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 a Khufu style game like this. Khufu works differently in the DVD era of the board games. Um, but in France, apparently, I, from what I can tell, it was a um, fan done the thing. It doesn't appear official because um, this game, Nightmare and Atmosphere, was developed by an Australian company called A Couple of Cowboys and uh, they acquired a deal within one day with Village Roadshow after showing them what they were doing and Village Roadshow is the same Village Roadshow that uh, has been in the cinematic industry for, for a couple of decades, a few decades, um, and uh, very well known so that's kind of why you have such a high production value with a game like this. Um, and that's why it's so great in, in part as well. Um, so yeah, um, we're going to take a quick break here. We're going to set some stuff up. And uh, it'll be really awesome. So hang tight. Board game that put you at each other's throat. The atmosphere, the sound, the nightmare, the game atmosphere. Just look at the sheer massiveness of this game. Like, here's my hand comparatively, and here's the game one of the game pieces. But look at how big this game is. So, in summary, in the Harbingers, Harbingers, Tomato Tomato, Who Cares, Potato Potato version of the game, you start off as a numbskull or a soul ranger, a numbskull with a common name, and your goal is to reach a headstone to become one of the Harbingers, tomato, potato, whatever. Um, so again, Baron Semity the zombie, Elizabeth Bathory the vampire, Hell in the poltergeist, and De Chatin the witch, Kufu the mommy, Gavaldin the werewolf. Uh, and there's gates that get placed throughout the game, but um, again, you're supposed to be the gatekeeper. Um, so there is a chosen one. Uh, that is determined before you start the VHS tape. They arrange the provinces. You have 10 minutes to become a harbinger, or you flip these over, and there's another uh, corresponding tile on the other side that is black, and that is the sewers where the soul, soul rangers dwell. That's what happens when you don't become a harbinger. You remain a numbskull or a soul ranger. Um, so I just kind of want to give it a scope of this game. Uh, just in general, but um, there again, this is an audiovisual game, 
and we want to get into some of the more audiovisual components. So we're gonna have to move over to our vault for that. Um, so it's gonna take a minute to get there. Uh, what do you say, Nugget? Does that sound like a good deal? Yeah, you agree. That sounds like a good again. Deal. Um, the atmosphere and nightmare games are a highly audiovisual experience. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at that. So. I have the aftermarket DVD, I have the DVD that goes with Atmosphere, the Gatekeeper from the DVD era of the game, um, but uh, all of them are actually available on YouTube, even the French knockoffs, so uh, if you're interested, I definitely recommend checking those out, but uh, let's take a look at uh, them now and and uh, talk about them a little bit. Pardon me, Nugget. No, I'm not going to get an argument with the gatekeeper. Spoonie already did that in two episodes. I'm not going to fall in his footsteps. So, you want to play the game? Okay, uh, the second one was uh, Baron 70 the Zombie, Nightmare 2. Let's take a look at that one. <laughs> Welcome back, kid. Okay, that's scary, but not as... Whoa! How is that so scary? Oh, okay. So the one with his eyeball hanging out is actually the American release of the game, whereas the one where he just has dark eyes is the one that was released more abroad because the hanging eyeball was too scary for uh, audiences abroad. Um, again, I prefer the eyeball hanging out. That's just me. Next, we have Atmosphere 3, The Witch. Why is she squealing like a pig? Okay. Oh, wow, she, uh... It's not easy being green, I guess. Uh, there's one more game in the Nightmare series, and that is, um... Elizabeth Bathory the Vampire, or Atmosphere 4 the Vampire. Right, let's check that one out. It's not. Oh, jeez, what is it with the women in these games? And there was a teaser for um, Atmosphere 5, The Mummy, which never got released uh, until the Khufu game during the DVD era, which doesn't operate the same. It's a different style of game. music video. So, I tried to find who the artist was that sung the song, but as far as I can tell, it's Baron Semity himself. Thrill me! To really experience this game, spend some time creating the perfect atmosphere. Turn the lights down and the volume up, and welcome to the other side. Shut up, and listen up. The game begins. Whose turn is it next? Hands up! Yes, my gatekeeper. 
This guy can be a real jerk. I need a good laugh. So I want you to take a fate card and read it out loud. Not gonna get worked up. You're just a video. <laughs> you son of a... That's right, that's right, I'm sad and blue Cause I can't 